There's a tidal phenomena that brings people from all over the world to Alaska, especially during the first week of August and September. Let's give you a 360 degree look at what's known as the boar tide. Surfs up in Alaska. Long, beautiful, glassy, a little wild at times, but amazing all in one. Waves that convince this California server to move to Anchorage. A little polar water, a little bit thicker wetsuit, but beautiful scenery. You've got the mountains all behind you and the snow-covered peaks. It really doesn't get much better than this. Ginnick is not alone, as both onlookers and surfers come from all over the world to the Turnigan Arc, just south of the largest city in the state, to experience a boar tide. Uh, as it pushes up in certain areas of the channel, the shape is just right, so it forms this, this wave that you can actually surf and you can ride it for maybe over a mile. This tidal phenomena is a daily occurrence following low tide in this inlet. When you have the clash of the tide coming in with the tide going out in a long and narrow channel. It's just the right length to create kind of a, a sloshing effect of the tides. All tides we know come in for six hours and then they go out for six hours. This surf wave can build up to a height of six feet and move up to 10 to 15 miles per hour along a path spanning 40 to 50 miles. It works its way up turning an arm and you can leapfrog it with your car. You can get ahead of it and watch it come by and do this over and over all the way from Beluga Point all the way up to Portage. If you want to see one of these rare events, make sure to be in place to watch or ride a boar tide at least 30 minutes before the forecast tide. Know that the water will calm down just before it arrives. And always remember they can be dangerous, so make sure to stay off mud flats and enjoy them from somewhere that's safe. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Meredith Garfalo.